when it comes to professional development, um, and different generations need it differently. So maybe we should be thinking about crafting a professional development plan for employees specific to their needs as an employee, as well as what that means for the organization. In other words, let's get away from just having an employee development uh, uh, budget that is sort of let them decide what they need and, and have a real conversation about what's going to be useful for them as they continue to grow within the organization and what the organization needs from them so that there's uh, they're, they're on the same page. We're all on the same page about development. Um, and, I, and again, that to me is, a very, is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I, again, I have Gen Z or children, and one of the things that they really struggled with because they always have had face time. They didn't understand how to dial a number and call someone. <laughs> we had to have conversations about calling people and phone etiquette and you know what it looks like to communicate effectively, not just through social media or FaceTime or something like that. But again, they're growing up in a, in a world where that is the 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 uh the the choice you know that they have to to just be in their own circle. And so bringing a younger generation out of their own bubble <laughs> is vitally important. Um because it's, again, they, they're growing up in a way that is foreign to us and other generations.